Hey friends, we hope you had a great weekend. Chris and I are actually on our way home from spending the 4th of July with her family at Lake our family. with our family at Lake Hartwell in South Carolina. <laughs> and one of our traditions is to always stop at one place on our way home. It's our last hoorah before the vacation ends. And that place is called Cookout. cookout. And for those of you who don't know what Cookout is, it's a fast food joint, but they have everything from quesadillas to chicken tenders mm, to quesadilla. burgers. You can get all of it in one meal because there's this thing called the $5 tray. Pro and tip tray, pro get, tip, the, get tray. the tray. You can get like two entrees and Basically, a side, yeah, like two, two sides and an two entree. Two entree things yeah. and like a side thing. Oh yeah, and it includes a drink. And um, you can upgrade it to a shake. Which he always does. And this place has killer shakes. They have way too many options for me. They have 40 different flavors of milkshakes. Why did I do? That's not 40. They have four <laughs> flavors of milkshake. We ate so much this weekend, but we're about to eat, eat a little more. bit more. We're about I'm literally to... still full from three days ago. <laughs> We're about to hop into the drive-thru right now and get I don't this know what to get. food. We only get it once a year, so you know the pressure is on it is. to choose the right thing. It's always tough to know. Do you branch out? You only get it once a year. Do you branch out? Would you branch out? Or, or do you stick to your classic? Do you stick to your classic? For me, yes. I'm gonna stick with my classic because I don't want to at all be disappointed. That's true. This is my lake fashion. Long sleeve tee. Hair in a bun from last night. Didn't redo it this morning. This is my like no tan. Makeup. Look at yours. Let's show them yours, baby. Show them your tan. You actually <laughs> did good. No, I didn't. This is my spray tan coming off. Oh, we're gonna order. I branched out this time. I didn't want to get anything that you got. That way we all, we had none of the same things so I can try everything. Oh, hold on, we're sharing? No, I just want a bite. Oh, got yeah. it. But. <laughs> Oh, got it. Thank right. you. Thank you. Yeah, have a great one. You Bye. too. Yep. Thank you. Oh, she patched those condoms. I'm so excited. For anyone who loves honey mustard, Cookout has the best honey mustard. It's not like that weird, like bittery. It's like creamy and sweet, and it's so good. But honey mustard is gross. Let's see what right. meal we got here. Oh, that's Onion yours. rings, that's me. Burger here. Quesadilla is down here. It's a chicken quesadilla. Onion rings. I would say my one gripe with cookout is I could do like literally four times the amount of onion rings that they give, but they are yummy. So I'm going to enjoy every Permission last bit try. of it. All right, this is Chris's meal right here fries, Ooh. chicken tenders, and a corn dog. And a corn diggity a corn dog. Diggity. I was literally about to say diggity dog. <laughs> it does look good. Why do you get so many more fries than I get onion rings? I ah, always- Get the fries. They get always give you a ton of fries. I and know. I told you. You guys, Cookout has that good eyes. Uh, I'm gonna go in. You're gonna go in? I'm gonna go in for the fries first. Best honey mustard ever. Oh. Got my first onion ring right here. Mm. Mm. My onion oh. ring is bomb. My, I'm gonna try this. Ooh, that is pretty good. Right? I don't even like honey mustard, and that's pretty good. Let me get another fry over here. No, Harry got the perfect bite for you. Harry got the perfect bite for you. They're perfectly salted. You don't need to add any salt. They're crispy. Look at that burger, y'all. burgers are so good. Mm. By the way, that's all chunks of bacon on there. <laughs> I don't know about you, but sometimes I just want a burger that came in tinfoil like I was at a concession stand Absolutely. at a high school football game. Clear eyes full of hearts can't lose. lose. And this is exactly that, but it's just really good. Here we go. Their burger is so good. Let me get a bad idea. Oh my gosh. It really is so good. What's so good about it, you think? First Wait. of all, I forgot it's a double decker. Tell it's so cheesy. It. Tons of bacon. It is piping hot. Oh mm. Mm. honestly, I might have to pull back around to get me one. <laughs> See, I take bites, but I give them just as much, if not more. Mm. It's a really good chicken tender. Mm. Mm -hmm. I have never had their corn dogs or hot dogs before, so. Mm. Get some mustard. Okay. Mm. Um, that's amazing. The batter is 
perfectly crunchy. It's not soggy I at all. I heard the crunch, yeah. You heard it? Yeah. Hot dog's really good. Mm -mm -mm. Here, bite closer so they can hear the crunch. That's a, that's a real big bite. Mmm. Isn't that good? So good. So if you guys like Taco Bell. Yo quiero Taco Bell. These are Taco Bell quesadillas, but thicker and better, but they have that same creamy jalapeno sauce. That, I mean, the thickness. Wait. Break it open for them so they can see the inside. Look at that cheese. Uh, <laughs> that quesadilla. Oh my. Mm. 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 It's got like that spicy little zingy sauce to it. It tastes just like Taco Bell, but better. It does. Mm. Mm. In this car, we don't waste any condiments. That's oh. oh. <laughs> so, like we said earlier, we were visiting our family at Lake Hartwell in South Carolina. It is one of the largest lakes in the Southeast United States. Man-made lakes. It's man-made. It is gorgeous. Like more shoreline than you could even comprehend surrounded by beautiful trees and rolling hills and they live right there on the water it's absolutely stunning it's so peaceful you wake mm -hmm. up and there's not that commotion of like normal suburban city life yeah it's birds it's water it's lapping so on the dock so relaxing we went swimming which for any floridian out there mm -hmm. that swimming in a lake in and of itself is awesome enough because we don't really get to do that without having to worry about alligators in Florida. Yes. But you can jump in this lake and you don't have to worry about a thing. You just float out there, have a good time. So we went swimming, we did some relaxing, we did some jumping off the dock, we went boating. As you know, my family is really, really Italian. My uncle, he's 100% Italian. And he really fully Italian. embraces his Italianness, as yeah. we all should. That being said, his boat is named Forget About It. And it's spelled phonetically like, F O R G E D A, right? B O U D. I don't know, I'm messing it up, but it's forget about it. Yes. And on the back of the boat, it has these little black lines of all the people that he has dumped in the water while tubing. And the legend in the family is that they were all Chris's boyfriends in the past. No. Chris's and Vinia's. 10 notches. I did not bring. I didn't have 10 boyfriends first of all. You brought 10 boys to the lake house, huh? I'm the I 11th brought, one. You're the third one and the last. <laughs> By now you guys know we love food, clearly. Probably a little too much. My Aunt Vina, she's an incredible cook. Mm, to say she, the least, yes. Yeah. Like literally nothing she makes. Like, she's incapable of making anything that doesn't taste amazing. Yeah. There's a few different meals we look forward to when we come up every year. One of the things she makes is the steak that she seasons. It's so good. Uncle Dave is the grill master. They pair it with these golden rosemary garlic potatoes and they're mm. so good. And then last but not least, you know what I'm about to say? Oh, oh, I know. I know where this is going. Why don't you take it from here? So, Aunt Vina, she makes this banana pudding that has just come out of <laughs> the heavens. I, I can't even find the adjectives because it's the creamiest, thickest sweetest mm. guys whatever you think you know about banana pudding forget about mm -hmm. it forget about it mm. it's so so good we've been eating it every, every day every day i wake up every banana day pudding, go to sleep banana pudding <laughs> literally like she's been waking up and eating dessert for with, breakfast like as my side like i'll have a for bagel breakfast. with cream cheese and, and apple i'll have pie. like a side of apple pie or a side of banana pudding i'm about to dig in to, to my milkshake. Cookout is famous for their milkshakes. This is a chocolate chip mint and double chocolate oh. in one. And I got a chocolate, or no, I got a peanut butter fudge Oreo. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. How good is that? That's very good. You always choose good combinations. I respect that about you. Thanks baby. You always choose the same thing. <laughs> Like literally last night, I got ice cream last night and he got mint <laughs> chocolate chip. You know what? If you like it though, stick to it. There's no harm in that. I know mint is a controversial flavor ice cream. Cause some of y'all be like, it tastes like toothpaste. Nah, it tastes like toothpaste. You know what? I love it. <laughs> I love it. More for you. This is really good though. Cause the double chocolate actually cuts a lot of that mm. mint flavor. I this think you might- This is so good. A little of this, a little of that. Little more of this. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, but for their milkshakes, it, let's say you want a cheesecake one, they will literally put a whole slice of cheesecake and blend it up. You can literally see the peanut butter and the Oreo mm. and the fudge. Like this might be one of my favorite ones I've ever had. So, bur double burger, onion rings, quesadilla, chicken tenders, corn dog, French fries, two milkshakes, and a drink for sixteen dollars. And this ain't no small milkshake. Oh, not, they ain't no kitty cup. No, go. If you get a chance to go to a cookout, please go and get a tray, get the shake, <sighs> live your best. And if you get a chance to go to Lake Hartwell, mm. do it, live your best. It, go jump in a lake without having to worry about alligators. My, it's amazing. Yeah. Okay guys, well, we have to head back on the road. We still have a long ways to go to get home, but thanks so much for watching us enjoy our cookout. We hope you get to enjoy it soon as well and have a great rest of your day. Later, guys. A few moments later.